Hello there, I'm Kafi Khan and welcome back to my Android tutorials. In the previous video, we talked about fragments, some applications of fragments and how to create one. In today's video, we will be implementing one of those applications and as you can recall, fragment can be used to create a multi-pane user interface. So today, we're gonna make that. Well, let's get started. We'll be using the same project which we used in the previous video. So, in our application, we'll be having two frame layouts to define two panes. So on the left pane, we'll be having a list of Android versions. And on the right side, when the user clicks on one of the list item, it shows the details corresponding to the, that list item on the right hand side. So let's design the second pane. So coming to our main activity XML file. So let's see the preview. Let's just bring it here. Okay, so we've got one frame layout. Let's just add another and let's call it fragment detail container. Okay, so in linear layout view children, we can define an attribute layout weight which provides a percentage of the screen for the width or height of the view item. So let's define that. So layout weight, let's give it 30 or let's just give it three. Similarly here, let's define layout weight. Let's give it seven. Okay. And let's define the orientation as horizontal. And let's just change the width to zero dp so that layout weight can override the width. So zero dp. Let's give the height as match parent. So match parent, similarly, here match parent. And now as you can see, we've got our screen split into two frames, 30 is to 70. Okay, so coming back to our main activity. So now what we are looking for is, when user hits one of the items in the list, it should show the details on the right hand side. So we are looking for an on-click listener for the list item. So coming to the fragment. So let's define an on-click listener for our list view. So list view dot set on item click listener new. So again, this is also an inbuilt function of Android, just like on-click listener. So for list, we've got set on item click listener. Okay, again. So whenever someone hits one of the list items, so anything inside this on click function will be called. So what we want is, we want our data to go from fragment to the activity. And for that, we need to define an interface. So let's do that. So project, Java, our project directory, right click, new, and Java file. So let's call it Android version interface. Okay, let's hit the OK button and this needs to be an interface. So let's hit the OK button and close this. Okay, and let's define a function here. So let it be on version item click. So void on version item click. And this requires a parameter string because we're passing string. So string, let's say Android name or let's say version name. Okay, so our interface is ready. So let's just close this file. Coming back to our fragment, let's define an instance of that interface here. So which was Android version interface. So let's call it Android version interface. And we need to initialize this interface in on attach callback. So let's overwrite that. So on attach, let's just initialize it. So Android version interface is equal to Android version interface, just type caster context. And let's just add it in a try catch block just to avoid any exception. So try catch class cost exception log dot e so class cost 
exception and let's just e dot to string okay so our interface is declared and initialized all we got to do is just pass our string version name to this interface when the list item is clicked so let's do that so Android version interface dot on version item click so let's just pass the string so we'll be needing the string from our view item so let's get that so string str version name so we have a view instance here so view let's just typecast it to text view okay let's just put it all in a bracket and get text to string it's just the same thing which we've been doing in the past if you can remember the login app so we were just to get the text from our edit text or text view we do get text that gives us editable type and we use to string to convert it to a string okay let's just pass this variable to our interface function so str version name and our fragment is ready so coming back to our main activity we need to implement this interface here so let's do that so implements android version interface and we'll have to add the function here so which was on version item click okay so now whenever someone clicks on a list item in the fragment so this function is going to be called and it would send data from our fragment to the activity over here okay so let's take it step by step so let's generate a toast here so make text and let's pass the context so this and let's show the message so let it be clicked sorry and version name again the duration so length short and show well so let's run our application and see our progress well our application is running so let's just see the progress so well this is how our application is looking so we've got two frames one on the left one on the right and when i click on a list item it should generate a toast so it shows clicked cupcake let's see with honeycomb it shows clicked honeycomb well we are on track so far so now what we need is when the user hits one of this list item it should show the version name on this right pane so let's do that so for that we're gonna need another fragment so let's create another so project java r directory right click new and java class so let's call it detail fragment okay let's create it again we're gonna need this as a subclass of fragment so let's do that extends fragment and which fragment version 4 okay let's override the on create view and let's create another layout for this fragment so again project resources layout right click new and layout resource file so let's call it detail fragment layout okay let's switch to the text mode let's get rid of this constraint layout and use a linear layout let's provide it with an orientation so orientation say vertical and let's use a text view here so text view with match parent height match parent and let's give it an id so id version name okay so we are done with the ui file so coming back to our detail fragment so let's use that layout here so again we're going to use the layout inflator so view view is equal to inflator from again to get the context we can use the function get context so get context and inflate so let's pass our layout here r dot layout dot detail fragment layout or view group which is container 
on. No, we don't want to attach it to the root. Okay, so let's just return this view from here. Okay, well, we need an instance of our text view here, so let's create that. So text view, so let's call it version name is equal to view dot find view by id r dot id and version name let's just copy paste it from there which was version name so coming back here let's just paste it again it's showing red so it's probably some gradle sync issue so we'll come back to that later okay now coming back to our main activity so now what we want is when user hits an item so we come to this on version item click function so we'll be creating another fragment for our second frame layout so let's do that so we'll be using a fragment manager so let's use our fragment managers let's just make it a member variable so let's put it here let's remove this Again, we'll be needing another fragment transaction object. So let's create that fragment transaction. Let's call it fragment transaction and fragment manager begin transaction. So our fragment transaction object is ready. Okay, so we'll be needing an object for our fragment. So let's create that. So detail fragment is equal to new detail fragment. Well, our fragment, fragment object is ready. So let's just pass it on to the fragment transaction. So fragment transaction, replace. So r dot id dot, which was fragment detail container. And let's pass our fragment object here, which was detail fragment. Well, or let's just call the comment to run this. So fragment transaction dot comment. And now you must be wondering, we've created a new fragment, but we haven't passed any sort of data. Well, to pass data from an activity to fragment, we can pass it through bundles. So let's create an object of that. So bundle, let's call it bundle, is equal to new bundle. Well, our bundle object is ready, so let's just set the values now. So bundle, set put a string. So put a string, let's pass it key value pair so let the key be version name so version name and let the value be the version name string which is coming to the function so version name well our object is created and we've set the value so let's just pass it to our fragment object so coming here detail fragment dot set arguments and let's pass the bundle here well so good far so good so coming to our detail fragment. So on create view, we can just get these argument and set the values to our text view. So let's get that. So if get arguments is not equal to null and get arguments, get string, which our key was version name. So version name is not equal to null. Then let's just set it to our text view. So version name or text view dot set text, get arguments, get string. The key was version name, so let's pass it here. Well, we're good to go. Let's run our application and see what happens. Well, our application is running, so let's see. Okay, let's hit on the cupcake. And on the right hand side, as you can see, a version name cupcake is visible. Let's click on gingerbread. So gingerbread is visible. Let's click on jelly bean. So jelly bean is visible. Well, that's all we wanted to do. And we've achieved that. If you have any doubts, any queries so far, feel free to drop a comment and we'll go through it. See you in the next video.